Feels like I've got dinner in my teeth. It's not a good look, is it? Camera. Mm. Come on in. I'm not a usual camera this morning, so I feel like I've sort of managed to forget my own ordinary camera. Left it on the side at home. First on the agenda, I've got to collect some leaf mould. You'll understand why in a minute. But the leaf mould is because last week we went to want to go on a bit of a mushroom discovery. Now that's not necessarily a foraging mushroom discovery, just we just love hunting and finding mushrooms and going wow and all that so, um, so we did that on Saturday we went to Cork Abbey which is a local National Trust uh, country estate and I also found some fantastic oak trees I found some incredible acorns they're massive so I collected a few acorns and I wanted some leaf mold so that it's more of a natural environment for them to just start to germinate in so what I can do is get them to just, just sort of do, do their thing in some leaf mold over winter it's kind of an experiment really and then in in early spring lift them pop them in a bit of compost in a pot and hopefully they'll have those little white tails on them and uh, and then we hopefully they'll germinate ready for next year but they were so awesome and the tree was so incredible it was so old hollow inside I just thought oh what a great thing to just get some local acorns and and pot them on. I tell you what, we had some serious rain last night. A proper storm came in over here and woke me up back half past two in the morning, thrashing it down with howling winds. Some of my log sheets have blown off, look, in the wind. It's not great. Right, next job is get some logs in. Anyway. How are you doing this week? Last week we had a pretty chaotic, hectic week, and it was for me anyway. <laughs> it may be nothing compared to what you do. And this week feels the same in my mind. It feels like I've got to get a lot done. So I've got to get this panel finished. I've got another five to do. I've got to try and get them done in the next two days. So I want to try and get back up to Jeff's at the end of the week for some more coppicing. So let me know how your week's going. Hope it's going a little bit better than mine seems to be. How would you answer your week as a percent? Now last week my week was probably about 60 on a whole. We had some good days and some not so good days. And uh, this morning I feel like I'm under pressure. It's not a nice thing. Last week was interesting. I managed to have a quick go of that Honda GX270 engine for my two-wheel tractor that I'm trying to rebuild. That will be part of a separate video series. We had ignition. Wow. <laughs> and we also managed to get it running in the end, which was particularly good for me. Down the bottom ending, we'll get some rods to dress. The rest of these panels have run out of three dress rods. And in other news, you'll be pleased to know I've got myself another wildlife camera. And we had some issues with it. It's an old one, it's not doing very well. I, I asked you guys for some recommendations. I had a few recommendations come in actually, it was really good. Thanks for that. But I went with something called a is that called CO more or is that what it's meant to be? C more, is that what it's meant to stand for? I don't know anyway. Whatever that's called, CO more, new, more, whatever that is. That's nuts. I was gonna go for the lower end one, which was 
about £65 on Amazon. So I was watching both the high-end model and the more medium-range model. And sure enough, the high-end model, which is normally under a quid, although I'm not paying £100, came in at 65 quid. Anyway, expect a full and comprehensive review shortly. Feels like I've got dinner in my teeth. It's not a good look, is it? I'm not enjoying this camera neither. I left the other camera at home. I wish I could show you what I'm using. I'll tell you what I'll do. Come on, where's the camera? The normal one has got a magnet and it's got a tripod with a ball head and it's got that flexible legs thing and I can pretty much put you anywhere I want and and get the shot. There's definitely dinner in my teeth. It's not right. Only this one's got this like little selfie pole thing with this dodgy little tripod at the bottom and I'm not happy with that because this camera operates differently to the other one. The other one's got one touch record, you just press a button, starts recording. This one, you have to press the button, choose your setting, then press record, and I keep forgetting that. So I've just been waffling to myself up there, and you weren't even switched on. A bit of a joke. Not you, the camera. And I was actually thinking I was going to transfer to this camera when, sorry, I've just spotted a squirrel's nest. I was going to transfer to this camera, only I'm not sure whether I will. I quite like my little old camera. And I was thinking of upgrading to the DJI Action 3, but the reviews on it are dreadful, saying everything's out of focus. It's meant to have the same internals as this camera, but in the body of the old camera with the similar sort of settings. And um, yes, so I've got my old DJI Action, Osmo Action. Best camera I've ever had. And everything that's come out subsequently, I cannot see how it benefits me in any way. So, they bring out these new fancy cameras with all these widgets and gadgets on them, and they're no better off. Right, we'll see how that goes. Let's get some rods done. to get all of those rods dressed which is great news so you may remember a couple of weeks ago we had a whole pile of stack all the way down here anyway so we've got the brass piles now rods 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 charcoal and in the distance somewhere there charcoal and look at them rods they're fantastic about another two years they'll be amazing the panels they will I thought I'd tell you about a couple of the YouTube channels that I tend to follow. In fact, I, I follow an awful lot of YouTube channels. Some of them I skip over, some of them I linger with, depending on what the subject is. But a couple I'm into at the minute. There's a chap called Jamie, the Worcestershire cabinet maker. I'll put a link in the description below. He, um, he makes all sorts of wonderful things and talks a lot about his tooling that he uses and explains why and he's got a lovely West Midlands soft accent which is where my parents were from so it resonates with me as well but if you want to have a look at all things cabinet making woodwork fine joinery uh, really precision stuff head over to Jamie's channel lovely fella leave him a comment in the description because he loves to have a natter with folks <laughs> that's nice always have a comment or two for Jamie another one I tend to watch a lot of although I'm struggling to keep up at the minute is the restoration couple somewhere near where that fella on Country File lives, that Adam Henson, somewhere down there I think. Anyway, they've moved, sold that, moved to a small holding, got a really interesting channel, they've got a hell of a lot of subscribers now, and they always produce good content, and they've got a mini farm going on as well, so some of the content's actually quite funny, because <laughs> they've got all animal stuff going on. I'll have a think about some of this for you. I 
this domain. We are rapidly losing light now. We're just over halfway on this one. We've got three done up there. So this is the fourth. We've got three more to do. I've got tomorrow, hopefully. It's going to be a tight squeeze getting them three panels done in one day. But that's the mission. That's it, that's me done for today. Can't hardly see under there anymore. <laughs> so, um, see you in the morning. Good morning. Bit of a stunner this morning. We had so much rain again last night. Will it ever stop raining? We had the summer from the continent and now we've got the rain from, where's, where's it rain a lot? The Amazon, I think. And you'll be glad to hear I've got my proper camera back, so it's great, I love it, I love the camera. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll crack on with our panels this morning. I've also got load up my little two wheel tractor because uh, I've got to do a continuing repair job on the little two wheeler. Try and get all three panels done today. I've got that little one to finish. And then three more, just the same. break we're halfway and it's lunchtime and I'm hungry One more to go. The end. I didn't think I'd get all them done. We've got a couple of three rods left, so I haven't got to go down the bottom end again anymore. Hopefully next week we'll try and get to fit them. It might be Monday, Tuesday next week, so um, stand by for that. I'm not really looking forward to that fitting because they are on ultra long posts sitting on stilts so that it covers the height of the wall so the panels don't go down to the floor. They sit at wall height and then go up, up to about eight foot tall. Um, so I'm really not looking forward to the fitting that. It looked nice if it works, but I'm, I'm not convinced yet. I'm just thinking out loud this one. This is that two-wheeler jalopy I was on about. Part of a different, separate project. That's what I got the GX270 off, so the engine is there, that's missing. That's at home being fixed. So bear with me while we load this up.
morning. It was a beautiful day in Woodland Paradise. Stunning day. Back on the coppice today. I'm going to get changed and then we will get cutting. Ready? Steady. Go. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, what I do for a transition. I was having a little chit chat with Jeff earlier and he was saying that he found a dead buzzard the other day. Which is a real shame. No idea what might have killed it. I suppose this mutant's bird flu was possible, but the carcass was too far gone to even attempt to try and autopsy it. But he was saying that there's no, no sign of a buzzard now for over a week. I'm sure there'll be others, but if bird flu is doing that to the wild bird population, that's not pleasant at all, really. Still in slow mo then. Right, that's me done here. I've got to go and get 20 bean poles, so I'll go and dress them quick. Then I've got Nip to kill with with the two wheel tractor gearbox. I've got to get undressed. That's all folks, uh, we are hurtling towards the weekend. I've got no more time left on this wood log. We will see you next time, thanks again for watching. And if you're able to try and catch some of these last autumn leaves, I think the oaks are just about hanging on. See you on the next one. That was pretty mad, wasn't it? Go.